Thank you for coming in for a video today. I'm doing a thrift haul today. Haven't done one in a while. I have a couple of uh, hauls. Right? I know you were with me when we did some ride-alongs for these, so you may remember them from the ride-along, but we're trying to get through them so that uh, we can put them away and maybe list them or use them. I'll start with what I'm already using, a rack for jewelry, and I actually saw one of these on Amazon. I think it was $20. Well, I got it for $5, $4.99, something like that. And it's great. It's got a little tray at the bottom where you can stack some jewelry there. I was running out of room for my bangles and pile of stretches. I have it in a big bowl of all stretchy. Some of these are stretchy, but uh, some most of them are not. And then I did have some necklaces hanging on here as well. But this was a great find for $5. I'm always looking for things to store my... But, you know, but sometimes you do run out of table space or storage area so i've been trying to get mostly trays so that i can put them in my armoire or in my other dressers i have that i use for handbags and jewelry and most of it is jewelry right now oh before i forget and before i break it or lose it let me show you a fabulous flip here i bought this uh, i guess it's kind of a special vinyl edition of justin beaver and i think i bought it about two years ago i'm not sure it's one of those specialty sizes I forget what they call these, but it's probably got a picture of them there. And I paid $2 for it, and it sold on Amazon day before yesterday for $75. I could not believe it, and I just thought I would share that with you. I'm always on the lookout for teen idols, what I call teen idols, or almost a flash in the pan. I don't know what else you would call them, but these really uh, superstars, like they really claimed that they climbed to fame pretty quickly. Uh, they kind of burn out pretty quickly as well. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing now, but um, I knew he would be collectible. So when I found him a couple of years ago, I, I had to have it. There's a, there's going to be a, a resale value to him. This fabulous apple, you saw me look at it too. I'm hoping there's nothing truly mysterious in there. <laughs> no ashes or anything. But I love it. I had one like this in almost this size, and it was glass. My daughter bought it for me when I got my teacher, teaching certificate and started teaching and it broke someone i think one of the custodians broke it because i never saw it again in my room not even the pieces of it i have another one that's brass i have quite a collection of apples in my room and it's kind of an am nothing but solid shiny brass hand wrought brass is not lacquered and i would and it as it would only provide temporary protection. I love this, this is beautiful. A uh, fossil bag, and when I saw it hanging on the rack, I thought it was a 70s holdover. It's just so nice, very thick leather, like to hold glasses or something. Yeah, it's like just the size for, for your glasses or a very small cell phone. So that's pretty cool. And it has an interesting opening too. You just kind of push it and and pull at the same time, and then it snaps there. It's got just some natural scratches at the front, nothing big, no major wear at all. All leather bag. It is tagged in the inside. Leather says fossil on the front, and um, clean as a whistle inside. There's the fossil tag there. It says fossil. And just a really, really nice bag. I... So there it is. I love it. I think it's so cute. It was not priced. I was so scared they had written the price on the inside. See anything? And the lady just let me have it for $3.99 at the front, which I was surprised as well. I didn't even ask her. I just let her look at it. She was very nice when I walked up to the, her in the counter, greeted me very nicely and whatnot. Because many times they'll say, we can't sell it without a price and so forth. But no. And now this one you did see me pick up. This is pony hair, or basically it's cowhide, but it's the hairy side, <laughs> the furry side. And it's leather and really cute. This one was $8, $6.99. It's got a snap, magnetic snap closure type. Not a snap, but a magnetic closure. And it's got a braided leather strap. 
I think it's so cute. It's very, I want to say 70s, but the color reminds me of the 80s, and it's got kind of an animal print, maybe, or some kind of pop art gold spotting on that. It is so, so cute. No lining, just pure leather all the way through. And it's very thick, very thick and nice. So how much was this one? This one was $7.99. Very clean inside. I always make sure they're clean inside. This one is made in China. It reminds me actually of an old coach. I used to have a bucket bag like this. Pull bag. This one, it is adjustable. No, this is more like a classic shoulder, classic shoulder bag. Not a crossbow. Now these, these are just little uh, Melissa and Doug uh, kind of paper doll or little doll dress up. So you put their accessories through these little slots, but I like it for jewelry, for my drawers in the armoire where I moved into. A lot of the velvet boxes don't fit in there. I can fit like three or four stacked up, but then there's a lot of wasted room on the other side of that drawer. So I really need to buy multi-sizes. And if I can get these for, well, this was $3, I think. And this one was $2. This one was a dollar something. And this is another magnetic play dress up figures. And uh, this one, I think it had pirates and whatnot. So two little divider boxes that I'm going to use with. And this basket is handmade in the USA. It's signed. And I'm also going to use this for jewelry. I know that jewelry can get very heavy, so I'll use it more like for earrings or brooches, not beads or anything like that. And it's just gonna stay in my drawer. It has leather handles, very nicely made. I may serve bread on there in Thanksgiving too, you never know. <laughs> but for right now, that's why I bought it. It's, um, let me see what the name is. Okay. Workshops of Gerald H. Hen. H-E-N-N, -N. and uh, I think it had a price in the back of $20, or it says $19.96, that might have been when he, when he made it, not sure, but these are very expensive when they're handmade, and this was priced at the thrift store for $3.93. Look how pretty the handles are. They're kind of burgundy and green leather braids, they're genuine leather. So very nice piece. Again, just love this kind of size to put in the drawers. I should have done a handbag haul. I forgot I had so many handbags to show you. This one was $3.99. I had seen this one before, and I kept putting it back, and it just kept screaming at me. So I decided to go ahead and take it. And it's definitely, I would say, 70s. It's leather, very nice leather. It's a snap closure. And again, $4 on that. It's a shiny beige color, a uh, classic shoulder bag. And it's very nice on the inside. It's not peeling or anything. They did put a tiny price on the front. I just saw that at the top there. I have been trying to take these off with the eraser. They're working somewhat. I may have waited too long to do anything with this one, but um, I don't know why I thought it had a name brand on it. Very cool though. I like that. I like the style. This one was, and I showed this in the, this one was $8. I showed this one in, uh, during that ride along and I told you that I love anything in mini form, like a mini brief. <laughs> I just cannot resist a handbag that looks like a mini briefcase. It is so cute and it's just so structured. I may change into this bag. It has a very interesting name on it. It actually has Middle Eastern writing and Baco maybe, B-A-C-O, it looks like it says. Then it has some kind of Middle Eastern writing at the very top. And it is full grain leather, beautiful leather strap as well. That's really important to me. It has brass hardware and this can be removed. Love that. It's got a zipper in the back. Apartment there, front. And this is lined in leather. So basically two compartments in the front, I mean in the middle, two compartments, top handle, back zipper, flat pocket, adjustable strap, and removable strap. At that bag, it had this, it has the chain. It's not a, it was six dollars. 
It's not a Whiting and Davis, but it's got the look. I love it. It came with the strap. It came with this beautiful heavy chain strap. But when I came home with this other purse, my daughter fell in love with it, as I knew she would. And then I said, we need to get a chain strap for it. I'll look at my jewelry section. <laughs> I'll look over in my jewelry to see what we see. And she just took off this one. I didn't know it was actually removable. It actually has a little hook, little um, little uh, findings that are removable. So how cool is that? And this is by Aldo. I just love it. It's so cute. It's like a little lunchbox style. And it is embroidered. And this one was $6, $5.99. I think it's so, so cute. And she definitely fell in love with it. It's got a little animal head there, leopard, I believe, with green eyes. And Aldo was a really uh, and very ritzy clothes. So that is their handbag. It's got a little bit of a stain up at the front, but it is so cute. I just could not resist it. Even just a house jewelry, I thought opening there, it's just a snap. And it's just a box, just a little box purse. That is the end of my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back for another one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way in or out of any video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Take a look at my join button as well if you're interested in supporting the content here. I appreciate you very much and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.